Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I've got a Fair Maiden polish, and I'm going to stamp over it. And I'm just going to start this one off with Neltik's Formula 2 as my base coat. Just one simple, easy coat of this. I'm capping my tip. There we go. Yes, yes. And here, I can't pronounce it, I, but it's beautiful. <laughs> I got this one from the Polish Pickup back in January. And um, it's a beautiful, uh, just yummy polish. It's like a green, kind of a foresty green with little tiny flakies in it. Metallic chrome flakies or something. It's just gorgeous. I love it. And this is just one coat. It looks pretty good on one coat, but I will go in and do the second coat to, you know, smooth it, and smooth it out and even it all out and, you know, all that good stuff. So here we go with our second coat. And this is um, one of my first Fair Maiden polishes. I don't think I own any other ones. Um, if I do, it's, it's it's lost somewhere in my collection. And now I'm going to top it off with some Posh Top Coat and get it to dry down so that we can do some stamping. Getting a little happy with it because, you know, I'm painting with my, I'm using my non-dominant hand to paint with. So I get a little crazy sometimes. There's Woody to the rescue. Today I'm going to use this little acrylic plate. It's XY103. And this is one that came free with a little stamper. And I'll be using the Born Pretty Gold Polish, the Beauty Big Bang Metal Stamper, and the Clear Jelly Scraper. There we go. So I've already stamped the image. I was having issues with the camera. I am working on a new angle for my video. So I'm having a little bit of trouble staying in frame. I hope you'll bear with me and um, let me know if you like this view or what I normally do because I'm, I'm not really sure you know which works best for you. So let me, let me know down below. <laughs> there we go. We got that one on the ring finger. I love these little acrylic plates that came with the little stampers, the little clear rectangle stampers from AliExpress. They're just cute and they've got some really cute little images on them. And I just, I really do like them. So as you can see, I am pulling off some of that excess image with some tape. Of course, I'm getting off center because I'm just not used to this vantage point or this angle. But if it's, if it's good for you, then I will work on it and get good at it. <laughs> Here we go. And we got them all stamped up. I'm going to go in with a little piece of tape and remove this excess um, from around, you know, all over my fingers. And it is coming up pretty well. I am going to end up having to clean it with some acetone, but, you know, for the most part, I am able to get most of it up with the tape. So there we go. And here we go with our little cup of acetone and our cleanup brush. Just tidy that up just a little bit more. And we're going to top it with the Bundle Monster. And this is a smudge-free top coat. I thought I would give it a try. And um, I'm happy to report that um, it really didn't smear anything. So I'm pretty happy with that. I am going to top it with my normal top coat here in just a little bit. But to start off, I wanted to you know, put a barrier of this down. And we're going to have to try it with some other, you know, polishes that have been known to smear um, for it to get a real good test going on it. But I will keep you posted. And here we go. No smearing and I'm brushing over it and brushing over it and it's not it's not messing with the image at all. Yes. And now I'm going to top it with my posh top coat so that I can have that glossy high shine top coat over my manicure. There we go. But I thought this would be kind of neat. Kind of leave the tips with the base color on it and just do the stamping up near the top. I don't, I don't see it really as a French tip manicure because it's not, but kind of, it's kind of funky like a French tip. At least that's the way I was seeing it, you know. I just wanted to leave a lot of that color open so that I could still enjoy it. 
And as always, I would love to hear what you think about this one. I will have a swatch photo come up here very soon so you can see it a little better. But I would love to hear what you think about this one. Leave me a comment down below. Thanks for watching. And until next time, be good to yourself. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.